Good morning. Welcome to the Stuntman Pete and the Chicken Little Show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can really appreciate the height of this building from here, but on the back side of that is a third story balcony. It's about 40 foot up, I would say. Probably a little more because back there, the first floor is probably about six to eight feet off the ground to start with. Yeah, plus the ground drops way off back there. That's what I meant. The first floor is six to eight feet off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, mm -hmm. it's up off the ground a little bit. Plus, and that's two stories. It goes up another story. Heights is not my thing. We're working on the edge of the third floor balcony. Each new toy. <laughs> Structure manual. Don't fall. Got it. We're getting started on this thing. Lacking sleep. I am anyway. Did you sleep good? About three in the morning. Oh no. We're gonna be in shade. We're still gonna be catching a lot of heat though. It's supposed to be 92 today. And there is no wind blowing. Palm trees are not moving. I don't know if you can tell it in my face and my voice, but I'm not thrilled about this one. They've been trying to get us out here for a year now. I keep hoping the bees will just go away. <laughs> You're gonna hang by the door of the balcony while I'm on the edge. Yeah. We're gonna start hauling tools up and get busy and I'll record as much as I'm comfortable recording. <laughs> well, now I have ice packs of them, there'll be nothing. How many buckets? Uh, I think we can come back down for the buckets once we get to that point. I'm not to come down for anything, you don't understand. That's why I got the cart and the light and everything else. Maybe two buckets to start? That high's been here for at least six months I know of. It's been here for a year that I know of. Four buckets? <laughs> <laughs> only got six. That's how I feel about this whole thing. It's safe. Concrete's only packed a few places. But don't go to the edge. You won't like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't look too bad out here. But where we're working, I mean, it's just right in the corner. Ceiling's nine foot-ish. Hardy. So we're going to have to do some pride and maybe some cutting. I've been out here with a FLIR twice. Can't get a signature anywhere and these columns are supposed to be poured solid. So we're gonna go up. I'm not gonna hang out over the balcony to show you, but the the uh, soffit vent's got dead bee butts hanging out of it. I will. Oh no, no you won't. <laughs> we'll just let you, inside there you should be okay. You stand on this. These are gonna be a bit of, oh, interesting. This, or this, uh -huh. is overlapping this. See the half a round hole right there? Get the uh, wonder tool and vibrate a seam right there. Yeah. They didn't spare the caulking. I mean, this is government work at its best. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going down to get some tools. Um, Hopefully you can get back in. I can get back in, I just don't, I'm standing right here because if you wobble in, I'm going to catch you. <laughs> oh, no. Right now, the, the thing's at an angle, yeah, and I'm man. up inside these columns, so. All right. This styrofoam in here. They could be in here. I think it's poured solid, though, all the way down. That ain't solid. Well, it's EFIS, but the... But I'm looking at the styrofoam, and they're very chewed up here. And underneath that board right there, I can see where the concrete ends. So it may do the same thing here. But we're gonna know, we're gonna get into it. We're, we're gonna figure that out. But, yo, you're not gonna get me the first one. Hmm. We're kind of overlooking Back Bay from up here. You, you can see it through the trees a little bit. There's the Ocean Springs Bridge. Close to the water. All right, I'm going to get a drill. One tent right there. See you out here. 
You didn't get to see my Vietnamese buddy down there hit me up for a ride. <laughs> he said, hey you, five dollar, take me to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need one. What you need? A hood? Yeah, just get bumped in the lift. I'm not waiting until you get pissed off that they stop bumping. That was a mouth to mouth. Pretty good. What's the word, Muckinbird? I'm looking down on comb. Inside the column. Inside, behind this little piece. I'm gonna see if I can come from the side and get a better sight. Now we gotta figure out how's it built. Oh <laughs> yeah, they're definitely in there. Cool. We got a way in. Pete, how could you abandon the camera up there? Because <laughs> they wanted to keep it. <laughs> there you go, I just got stunned. Yeah, you done made them mad. Oh yeah. I think that's where they're at. They're in the column. I think so. The the consensus on these columns was that these were solid poured according to code. These columns were obviously not solid poured. <laughs> now they're attacking me. They're attacking me too, don't you think they're not? <laughs> oh, don't jump up here. You shook the porch. <laughs> Thought it was collapsing. Yeah, you wouldn't do good in California, would you? <laughs> no. Dude, you shake the whole place. We got honey. And we got pollen. Including on the end of the... Yep. That's wax. Oh, this is that uh, concrete filled foam. And that's layer one. We might have the opening and get, get the opening. Where's the smoker? It's not blowing a lot, but it looks like a little bit. Got nothing coming out the top. Feels like it's sticking. Yeah, but it'd be bees coming out of it by now. No, I'm pulling the comb right now. For between. Oh, there you go. Hello, ladies. Woo. That's a and it goes down. I know. <laughs> and it was, that's why we couldn't cut this two by four framing. Mm -mm -mm. So much for solid poured columns, huh? Yep. All right, here comes the top of the column and hive. These were supposed to be solid poured columns, according to everybody. And I, I, I assume the same thing because it's it wasn't showing a heat signature through this much material so it wasn't showing anything which is kind of unusual because a lot of times it does 
Now we just gotta see how far we gotta cut down. It might be going all the way to the floor with this thing. Thankfully though, we got enough room to work and we don't have to go outside the rail and we don't have to stand on a ladder. I'm thankful for that because, uh, yeah, that would have been. <laughs> yeah, we could have got. I'm thinking about how I'm gonna get this hive out and all Pete wants is to eat. He's trying to get bees off his honey so he can- Diabetic <laughs> needs his sugar. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't had lunch. <laughs> Good honey taste, not very sweet though. It's tearing out comb to see how far down we were gonna have to go. See if we we're gonna have to cut anymore. This is, down this far and you can see I ripped it off so we got to cut the rest of the way down this column da ah uh, kidding <laughs> you <scared> me. <laughs> no suits and shorts that's a bee man See if I can see anything. Oh, it's deep. We gotta go all the way to the bottom of this column. You got me wondering. I see different meaning. I was at the bottom of my room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want their kisses. <laughs> and that board's weakened. <laughs> Is it? We didn't cut it, did we? No, well, it moved. Nice. There's Ooh. the bottom. Yeah. Does it go down? No, it don't go down. If you want to grab whatever you want to grab. Go ahead. I'm thinking of this big one here. Is it going to fall? There's two of them. That's a slab of cone there, brother. And. It's out. <laughs> I'm holding the board and he snuck up at the end. I thought I had a splinter for a second. Look down, it's a bee stuck to me. <laughs> Wayne singing? No, it's a bee stuck somewhere. There's some old cone that fell in the bottom and they reattached it. I'm thankful this thing's got a bottom in it though because if we dropped anything, I wouldn't want to have to be trying to fish it out of a column from Downstairs. You mean you're going to cut open another spot in the column downstairs? Yeah, we're not cutting another column. Another column, be the same column. <laughs> 40 feet lower. Same, <laughs> same column, just 20 foot down. This is a 16 inch by 16 inch wide space in here. And the hive, this this all was full of comb. I dug this out trying to see how deep the hive was. So it's a full five to five and a half feet depending on how, fi how far it goes past that and a whole lot of bees they're not being too bad now now that we're into them but man at the beginning i thought this was going to be a hot hive i was tempted to go down and get some soups because they were really working on us to start with I'm only, trying to i'm only up to three stings right now one in the arm one in the ear and the thumb just now yeah i think i'm at three or four all right so that i need another garbage or you want to squish that down uh, we can squish it down because there's nothing in it. I'm going to get the honey bucket for you too because you're doing both, thank you. Honey bucket here. The trash will be around when I get something to squish it with. There's a box of neoprene gloves right there. Capped. And you can see the cap starts right above that too. Oh, that's the
wrapping it up about a 200 pound hive roughly one two three four there you go picture five six worth of that's all we hunt yeah that's those buckets are all the way full with honeycomb with honey in it there's trash combs in those bags over there and something somewhere else anyway about about a 200 pound hive big one and lots and lots of bees we're still vacuuming bees all right we're out completely cut out got comb tracks on the wall but all the combs gone all the way to the top and we're going to leave that framing we're going to leave that column open overnight come back and close it up in the morning but i'm gonna come back later on tonight after dark and back up whatever bees are clustering we still got bees flying just stopped by to take a quick look today we finished this job up last night way up there <laughs> still got bees flying i needed to come back last night and back them up but the management for this company had a fire at another complex and couldn't come back to let me in late so uh that's gonna happen tonight and since i can't finish this today i got a lot of comb to crush from this extraction so i'm gonna go home and do that now i just honed these bees from that apartment about a hundred yards from here this is where I had the catch box sitting for the past two days. I dumped them all out about 100 yards away in a box, and I walk back over here. I see a bunch of activity. I'm like, what in the world's going on? My daggum queen has flown back over here. I don't know how in the world she got here. I know she didn't come out of the box here. So now I got to go get a clip and put her in it. Man, I don't know how this happened. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm walking up on a swarm. Maybe it's not what I think it is. Anyhow. I'm gonna go back over there and see if those, box, if those bees are absconding from that box. I just put them in. If they are, then I know this is where she came from. She's sure drawing a crowd though. No, these seem to be sticking. I must have just accidentally caught a swarm. I just set a box down with smoked comb in it. This was a dead out. They're going to, they're going up under it. They gotta find the entrance. Tell you what, if this doesn't show you the power of old brood comb for a swarm lure, nothing will. I say I accidentally found a swarm because that's not what I was out here looking for. <laughs> I was about to clean out my pot from my turkey roaster so I could melt some more wax. I was going to dump it out in the woods. And I just walked past this. Like, hey, what do we have here? Queen. Swarm. I guess it's a little swarm off of something. It's the only thing I can figure. I've been feeding them up lately. I guess I, I had one throw a swarm. And this is what I'm up to at the moment. I got about 20 times that much to melt down, so I'm fixing to start packing it in. Got about 
inch and a half of water in the bottom of it. Hamilton Beach 22 quart. I leave it outside all the time. It's done fairly well. I, I thought maybe the weather might kill it, but it hadn't. It's a pretty durable unit. And two hours later, this is where we are. I've let it cool and harden. Three hours, four hours later. That's all the gunk I scooped out of it. Cells and all. I'll have to render this one more time, but you can see how pretty and clean it came out. And you saw a lot of it started out pretty close to that color. And this is the amount of wax left after crushing uh, one gallon of honey came out of this. Okay, here's the remaining crushed comb out of, it made three and a half gallons of honey. And that, that looks like greasy soup is just wax particles and dirty water because I was melting wax before you can see. It was a little thin layer that I busted through when I dumped this comb in it. I know it looks like hot wings, but it's not. I'll spread it out kind of evenly and let the bees work on it a little bit if I leave it in a pile. They're not good swimmers. 